you can potentially get yourself this 104 DiVincenzo completely free from the brand new Trade Wars promo. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that, starting off by taking a look at the Live Today events. Now, there are two events either side of the Game of the Night one in the middle, and this one over here is completely free, and it is unlocked for you to go ahead and play through. It costs 50 stamina every single event. There are five events you can play through every single day. Each event is going to give you one target token and one 85 to 94 overall player. That's going to help yourself out in the set. As I said, five of them a day. So that means in total, that's 250 stamina every single day. And if you're spending a lot of stamina on this Sharpshooters promo, I don't recommend you go ahead and play through the Trade Wars promo just because the conflict with spending your stamina is going to be really hard because you want to spend as much stamina as possible in this Sharpshooters promo. But if you don't want to spend through your stamina in the Sharpshooters promo, then this is a nice alternative to perhaps go ahead and spend your stamina on. So that will be five tokens every single day you can get, plus also five extra players that you can sell on the auction house or you can use in the sets to get some of these Trade Wars Masters. There is a VIP event which unlocks when you purchase the VIP event pass in the store and it costs real money. In this event over here, it costs 30 stamina every single time, so a little bit less than the free one. And you can again play through five events every single day, but this time it's gonna give you two target tokens to help you go through the sets a little bit easier. And speaking of the sets, let's take a look at them. If we go over into the limited time section, scroll all the way down, you can see there are two rows and we'll start off with this bottom row. This is gonna give you an extra target token. You trade in 288 to 94 overall players. So the players you're getting from the sets or any others that you have lying around, you can see I've already done it and it shows up at the top having an eight hour cooldown in total. So in total, you can do this one three times every 24 hours, which is gonna help you out getting those target tokens. But then going on to the master sets, this is where you're spending through those target tokens and the players to get some of the masters. We'll start off with the lowest overall player, which is 99 overall Otto Porter Jr. To get him, you're gonna need 20 of these target tokens, 10 90 to 94 overall players, and 20 85 to 89 overall players. Again, the players you're getting from the event, and also if you wanna buy them on the auction house or you got them lying around, you can use them as well in this set over here. You're also gonna need those 20 target tokens, which you can get through the event and through the set. And we'll take a look at in a little bit the store as well. But as we go up in overall, you're gonna need more of these target tokens, more players and higher overall players. So you can see for this 104 overall Malcolm Brogdon, you're gonna need to get yourself 40 target tokens, 295 to 103 overall players, 890 to 94 overall players and 1685 to 89 overall players. The high overall players, they can even be season four, season three, or even season five card if you have any of that overall lying around, or you can just pick them up on the auction house. Or again, if you have them lying around, you can stick them in the set. You're also gonna need those 40 target tokens, which is gonna be not too hard to get. And then going up again, it's all of those players plus 50 target tokens to get yourself the 102 overall Damian Lee. Going up a little bit further to the DiVincenzo, you're gonna need 60 of the target tokens and all of those players. And John Wall, you might be thinking it's normally spent because you're only going to need 40 target tokens. But if you take a look to the left of that, you're also going to need to get yourself four of these bidder tokens. Now to get bidder tokens, you're going to have to complete the previous master set. And if you press on the info tab with Otto Porter Jr., you're going to get yourself the 99 overall master, one bidder token and two 93 overall players. Same with Malcolm Brogdon, you're going to get him plus the extra bidder token and three 93 overall players. Damian Lee, again, you're going to get yourself an extra bidder token. And then finally, DiVincenzo, you're also going to get yourself an extra bidder token. There are four masters, four bidder tokens, and then four bidder tokens needed to get yourself this 106 playstyle select John Wall, who is giving out an elite combo guard boost to position. So that might be something you want to try and get if you are pay to win. And that's why it is pay to win, because you are going to have to do the previous four master sets before you even think about doing this John Wall. Unless you actually go ahead and buy this one pack in the store that cost yourself 10,000 NBA cash. This one is going to give you a select between two one or three overall players, and it's also going to give you a guaranteed bidder token. If you do buy this pack twice, that is going to save yourself doing two of the sets and potentially save yourself a total of 60 tokens from not doing DiVincenzo set and then 50 tokens from not doing Damian Lee set. So that's going to be 110 tokens in total if you buy both of those packs. And then, of course, you still have to do Malcolm Brogdon and you have to do the Otto Porter Jr. set before you can actually get enough bidder tokens to start doing the John Wall set. So that is a slight alternative if you are willing to spend the cash and the money to get that cash so you can then buy that pack over there. Alongside it, there are some free to play offers. They are 25K coins for one target token. You can buy two of them a day or 150 NBA cash for one target token. That is an unlimited amount. So you can buy that as many times as you want throughout the promo. There's 1,500 NBA cash 
for some extra players and also 10 tokens or 4,500 NBA cash for 30 tokens and 10 players. There's a chance pack over here, a boom or boss pack as it were, which has a 5% chance of getting those 103 masters and that costs you 500 NBA cash. These ones won't give you any bit of tokens if you get the masters over there and if you go over into the achievement section there is also a hidden jersey it's called city thunder jersey and it is going to give out a gold shooting boost hopefully ea in the future if we do get some more of these promos change up the boost on some of the jerseys like maybe make it an elite boost make it something else other than a shooting boost because we get a lot of these ones but this one can be got by collecting one of the trade wars players so you don't have to get the master or even the grandmaster you can just get the lowest overall player that 99 otto porter jr and that will unlock that jersey for you to go ahead and claim and potentially boost up your team a little bit by placing it as one of your jerseys and it will actually improve some of the shooting stats on some of the players but what can you actually get a nominee spent from this promo well if we take a look at the live events themselves Themselves, you're going to get yourself a total of five tokens every single day completely free the promo is out for a total of five days so that's 25 tokens just from these events alone and then if we add on to that everything that you're getting from the store you can see there's a pack you can buy two of the tokens every single day that's going to be a total of 10 extra tokens on top of the 25 you're getting from events that's 35 tokens in total but it doesn't end there because in the sets you can do the exchange sets three times a day that's three tokens a day that will equate to 15 tokens throughout the promo 35 add 15 that's 50 tokens so that easily gets yourself the 99 overall player and comfortably gets yourself the Malcolm Brogdon if you do everything and you can always get that Damian Lee but I said at the beginning of the video you can get yourself this DiVincenzo which does mean you're going to be 10 tokens short but if we go back into the store you go to Trade Wars and you scroll all the way along just over here you can see there's the layup of tokens for 1000 NBA cash and that will give you 10 extra tokens needed to get yourself that DiVincenzo but you are going to need 1500 NBA cash which is doable now when you spent especially if you go ahead and do all of your daily objectives these are going to give you a good amount of NBA cash you obviously have to have a good starting amount of NBA cash like maybe around a thousand or something as you can see I'm at 1.1k if I got a bit further and tried to get that layup of tokens I could potentially get DiVincenzo because if you look at the objectives you're going to get yourself 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 NBA cash every single day and the weekly one if you haven't done them already that will give you an extra 100 mba cash as well and then the promo is out for five days so that's 400 500 potentially more mba cash from all of these objectives if you do them all and you can get yourself a layer of tokens if you've got a good amount of starting nba cash so that's where you can potentially get divincenzo normally spent it's impossible to get yourself john wall normally spent unless you buy them on the auction house because eventually all of these guys will end up on the auction house we've had multiple promos exactly with the same format and all of those guys have eventually worked their way onto the auction house which you can go ahead and pick up for coins but you are gonna have to stock up a little bit on coins to try and get these guys so maybe that's something you try and do now by selling some of the cards by trying to make profits on snipes anything like that will help you get the guys when they become auctionable as the sets will end at some point after the promo has finished so you can see it's one week two days so a little bit extra on top of how long the promo is out for itself and there's some time after the sets have actually ended those players will become auctionable so you can go ahead and purchase them on the auction house so maybe that's something to think about if you want to try and get john wall to help your team out by that time he might not be relevant and he might not help your team out a huge amount if he doesn't already but not only do we have this new trade wars promo we also have a main promo with a bunch of 104 masters and a 106 grandmaster steve kerr who you can potentially get completely nominally spent and if you want to find out exactly how you can do that go press on the video in the bottom left hand corner i went through all the tips and tricks to help yourself out in this promo so go check out that video and i'll see you guys in that one peace